Hey everyone, recently we did a video on finger weeders underneath older tractors, specifically the G, and we kind of went over some of the different setups and really some of the challenges uh, with, with the space underneath with those setups. And so uh, we kind of referenced a couple times the Alice G extension, uh, which is down here, uh, and we wanted to make a video. We figured might as well be time to make a video to show people kind of what that extension does. Uh, and we have a unit that's been kind of bumping around here for the last couple of years and uh, we've got our G. So we're gonna put it on today. Uh, we're gonna go through the whole process. I know we got a little some challenges because we actually have our frame welded in a couple spots uh, from the previous owner. Uh, but we're gonna work through those and we're gonna get it mounted up and then we'll be able to show you, uh, you know, again, particularly some of these clearance issues, challenges with this setup uh, with the 13 inch on the other side. You can see a little bit more from our previous video, uh, but we're gonna show how the extension can really help with that. We're going to go ahead and get started here. I got Doug Zara, our service manager, and uh, we actually just went ahead and removed the toolbar as well. Uh, that way we have a little more space to work here. Um, we're going to, we also disconnected the battery, have that all off, and uh, we're going to probably disconnect the light here completely because it's not working anyways, uh, and we don't really use it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead, uh, Doug's got the grinder already. There's a, it looks like whoever had this previously broke the top of the cast parts on the two top uh, bolts. Uh, we're going to have a interesting time getting everything apart and back together we'll we'll improvise as we go that's right Doug? what you encounter it's, when you yeah. work with stuff that's pretty old yeah ours won't be the only g i'm sure that's got some of this so uh we'll probably completely remove this the, the foot rest here because we don't need it. It, it there's a new one included on the um on the extension that'll give again a little more space for some of the tooling that comes up in that area um uh, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started We're probably not going to try to cut the whole way through here, right? No. We're going to try, I think you're just cutting on the we're top here on the top. of the weld, and we're going to see yeah. if we can actually just crack that that and off. We'll, we'll see how that works. We but got uh, a little weld coming up yeah, the side here. A little up the side. Yeah, there's two spots here and up the mm -hmm. side. This whole bolt is completely welded in. Uh, this one we might be able to get out. Uh, this this will be our interesting one here, but uh, but we if we can crack at least that yeah uh, that we weld get out a little bit of it yeah. off. Do you want to use the jack stand Steady over there? everything up. Yeah, I think we. Or do you want to use the, the jack? that uh, floor jack for the front. So once it's removed, we can roll everything forward. And the back, we'll use one of these jack stands under here. Now we do have a, a hoist, but we kind of want to show it without a, using the hoist that way. Because let's, let's most people don't have their shop truck. Or, right. What'd you say? Um, Is that good enough? Let's get uh, the bottle jack under here. That way we can oh, have we'll a get little some... bit of ability to okay. tip if we need it. Yeah, and we got a lot of the weight on the back end here, so yeah. it should, it'll likely tip back a little bit here. Engine on the rear. Uh, this we should be able to handle fairly easily once we... I'm going to get a bigger jack stand. Or does we, can, we can go right here, Doug. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, we're That's good fine. there. Oh, there you go. Do you do we want to take this light completely off, or should we just leave it on for now and just zip tie the? Oh, we could leave it on. Just otherwise, we'll have it sitting in a bin somewhere. Yeah. Uh, most of the bolt sizes are inch, so these these ones, the the nut is an inch. Uh, it's about seven eighths on the bolt head. Well, that came off easier than I expected. <laughs> that one's <laughs> welded. Well, that one's welded. Yep. Too soon, Dustin. The first, first, first one was easy. If I can't. 
looks like we got one stubborn one. So yeah, you can go put it, some of the liquid wrench or something on it to help start breaking it loose, or you can be impatient like us and use some bigger <laughs> wrenches. Here we're gonna do a little bit of a in the field um, configuration for putting wrenches together, give us a little more leverage. Got two one inch wrenches. It's kind of together like so. See if we can get a little more leverage. This makes a difference. Mm. This is more what we expected to encounter. <laughs> there you go. Going. All right, I'm gonna hit with the yeah. impact now. Got to turn a little bit, so hopefully that's enough, and then we're gonna try it with the impact here again. There we go. There we go. Oh, you got the bottom one off already. Yeah. All right, what's this one here? That's gonna loosen up a whole plate for us. Then we're not gonna have anywhere to. Do we just use the hoist, Doug? <laughs> Probably the safe we, thing to we do cheat. would be to <laughs> wrap something around it. Uh, I have that. Yeah. Let's do the safe thing. <laughs> yeah, just it, as soon as these come out here, there's nothing. There's this nothing is not connected it. to here. So yeah. it really is. There we go. Okay, let me move this out of here. So once we take that plate off, this will be loose. Okay, so nine, I think it's a 9 16th. Looks like we'll need a deep well. Oh, wait. No, that three looks, quarter. Why does it? That looks more like a 5 8 Is it all or? It's moving. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah. I got it. It's very good to see how good the previous person's weld job was. <laughs> okay, so it's coming apart. I'm gonna make sure we're free. Not gonna fall on any foot. Are we a little high on this thing? Could be. There we go. Almost. All right. We are separated. Oh, look at our nest in there. Sides. Oh, yeah. Little animal home. It's kind of the perfect spot, right? Yeah. You got the whole tube in there. Little mouse colony. Yeah, you got most of it all there. So yeah, you can see. Oh, you can see it. I mean, that one's just. That one's off, so that's where the weld was. It just cracked right off where we had a little pressure. They welded that bolt completely in there because it looks like the whole top, both top ones, whoever was driving at some point just buckled in. So yeah, our bottom two I think are clear. That one's clear because it's broken. We'll have to do some welding too just to make this work. So this is the key where definitely if you're looking at the extension, do a little bit of looking at your G first. If you want to send a picture to us too, I mean, so we can take a look. That'll help in knowing whether whether it's it's a job you feel like you can do at home or uh, whether you might need some assistance with uh, uh, in the process. So uh, again, in this case, we're we're grinding. We're going to be doing some welding. Um, and in normal scenario, if these would just come off, I mean, the biggest thing would be making sure that you've got the right you know equipment for. Well, you don't have to have a hoist, but the right ways that you're going to hold up the front and back end. Uh, for safety reasons, uh, and then then the rest of it would be relatively easy. But this we got some work to do. So I just want to show you the extension here real quick. I uh, got a nice little toolbox here in the middle. Uh, ignore a little bit of the being beat up. It's probably been around for about three years sitting here uh, doing some different things. Uh, this is actually for the seat. Uh, so you can move the seat forward, especially as that extension goes out. Uh, there's the seat, there's the foot pegs here as well. Now the foot pegs, 
Uh, you can install in a couple of different ways. So if you want it to be further forward, so people with longer legs can have it forward, uh, or you can have it back where your normal ones would be. Uh, now, one caution I would have about putting it forward is that means it's, it's well, obviously not this far forward. Once this is together, it's going to be about here. But it, that's one more thing that can kind of get in the way of some of your tooling that might come through there. So I would still kind of keep it back on the where it normally would be. That way you gain as much space uh, in here for, for your tooling. So just one thing to keep in mind. We'll put that together here. Uh, Doug, I think, was cleaning up this, uh, this piece plans. here. That broken, yeah. And so this bolt's going to stay. We're going to have three new bolts. Uh, now, we're probably going to have one of our uh, better welder guys do a weld job on this because welding against casts is a little bit tricky. Um, and, uh, and so we'll make sure he does a really good job on that. And I, but we'll get it all together, uh, and then we'll get a couple shots after he's done uh, with the weld, weld job on that. So we got, well, these are our long ones. Uh, four short ones here. Yeah, long ones go right there. All right. Okay, you gonna hold that there for a second? Yep. All right. So we've got these here. I don't know what do you call these things, Doug. Oh, el elongated nuts. That's where we'll put our this in. All right, now well, we might be in a tricky situation here. I'm not yeah, quite sure how this is gonna work. There's another bridge to cross that yeah, that just looks like it's been stripped why is that bigger it's because the flange is thicker yeah, okay. at the top and the we bottom need longer one of these yeah we need longer bolt okay. there and some washers there we're probably gonna have to washer it all the same yeah it may need all longer bolts yeah yeah so we're gonna have to improvise again a little bit here uh because you having to keep this one in here the threads don't go the whole way back here so we're gonna put a couple washers in, uh, and along with that, uh, we'll need to get some new bolts. We'll just go ahead. Fortunately, we have all that here. You may or may not. Again, that's I think why just double checking before, look at your system, see if there's anything that looks like that might be out of place. Uh, and, if, and if we can know that ahead of time, hey, we can put in other bolts, honestly. All right. Oh yeah, that's just yeah. a mangled thread. Sorry, two washers. Right? Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Got these shorter ones. This is actually a little further, so you wouldn't have to use this, this double, this elongated nut here. This could go the whole way back. That would bring you a little further here, but I, I always find maybe I'm I'm well, about six longer. foot tall. They're pretty short. It feels like they're always really close, and so I kind of like where this brings it out just a little bit. But it gives again, you kind of have the option there. Do you, do you want any primer or anything? Just throw on it or no? We could, yeah, let's do it. I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit of primer. Not like the rest of it really looks uh, in great shape. <laughs> Pretty rusty tractor, but uh, this will at least help prevent a little bit of the rust stuff here. We're talking about whether we even need this. We could just cut it right off, but we'll leave it. I don't think it's going to hurt anything from uh, if we would run into any, usually our clearance issues with some of the tools where that, that plate came down a little bit. And so uh, if for any reason we would get something that comes up in here, yeah, we can cut it off, but we'll just leave it for now. You got it, both yours. Mm -hmm. All right. Ready to grab the steering wheel. Okay, 15 sixteenths bolts. Snug them up. So that's that, right? 
Yeah. <laughs> we're all so, good. yeah, we've got uh, we've got this part here that we're gonna weld yet. Okay, so everything else is tight, uh, but this spot right here needs welded. But it'll hold together for right now when we take this off. Um, and do we want to show the other toolbar on? And we probably should show? show the toolbar yeah. on. So okay, so we're going to go ahead and add the toolbar back on, and we will, you'll be able to kind of see the difference. I'm going to adjust the 13 uh, from where they're at now, so we can kind of see where our clearance is. As you see, again, you see, we didn't we didn't add any space in here. Okay, we added it back here, and. Again, if we find out that this is farther forward and we want to move it back, we can take these out and put nuts on instead. But this, this gives us a little bit more of a comfortable platform, I think, for our feet. It gives a little bit more of extension for the tool. Um, and then it gives just, just more flexibility. Uh, again, important keeping it away from your, your foot, uh, your controls there. So we're going to get it switched out here, and then we can, uh, we'll jump back on and talk about it. All right, we got the extension in, toolbar back on. You can already see there's a lot more space. Uh, once we have the toolbar on there, you can kind of see that difference. Uh, I'm going to hop up on here as well, so you can kind of, so I can kind of reference uh, the other foot pedals that were on here, the foot rests that were on here, were probably about this position. They were probably a couple inches back from where these are at. So me as someone a little bit taller, I like the position of these. It feels really good. Uh, this feels really good for me still in terms of how far away the steering wheel is. If you are someone who is just a little bit shorter and you need uh, to have be further up in the seat. Uh, again, I showed that plate earlier. Uh, we could install that and move the seat forward. However, uh, Doug and I really like the position of this because it just feels a lot more natural. But as far as spacing goes, the nine inches, we haven't changed anything of where those were installed. Uh, they fit really nice. Uh, I would put them back a little farther on this, the bar. Uh, that way uh, they, you get a little bit more space from, from the front. But Again, you could use the nine inches before. There's some challenges, uh, some you know, some things, cautions to take into consideration. Uh, this way, I would feel very com comfortable with the extension on. That's really the way to go with with any of the setups that you're really trying to stack tooling on. But uh, the nine inches, while they do work the other way, this is, this this is nice. Uh, you have a lot better visibility in what what's going through. So apart from adding the extension in the middle, there's only one change that really needed to be done for the 13s to fit actually really comfortably in the setup. And before it had a mod bar that was this length, so that would have been about right to this position. Okay, so this clamp would have been in here. So we would have moved the bar up to, you know, this, this position about. And the issue with it was these fingers were, well, there's two issues, but one, it, the fingers were touching. So that was a no-no. Um, yeah, theoretically, we could change these for nine inch fingers on the mid setup and you could maybe get it to work. But the biggest problem with it was that this, you can see the separation that that extension bit was actually hitting this. Okay, it wasn't hitting the foot pedal that was up further, it was hitting this piece. So by removing this, adding the longer one, which we couldn't have before because it would hit the wheel, um, we have more room to to play with this. So we've, we've got, um, a lot of motion there. You're never going to utilize that much motion, but we've got a lot of motion um, and obviously room that we can move this uh, forward and back. Again, trying to keep it in front of this part here. And if you would need to, you could take these, uh, you know, extended nuts and you can move this back. So you can actually have a little bit more room to bring it back on the mod bar, but this works and for position, I really like that, that spot. So again, uh, Really, the extension is really what you need to go for if you're looking to uh, stack tools like this, like we're doing here, um, and and you know use multiples uh, with the 13s, and and it's just much nicer with the nines too. It gives you a lot more flexibility, a lot more peace of mind that it's not going to get caught up into something. Um, and so, you know, if we've got tractors here, but you've got your G, you've got your older equipment that works great, and this is a great way to add some utility to it. Uh, and then be able to apply new tools and technology that wasn't there when the G came out and when the tool, tooling systems were there. So uh, give us a call if you have questions. Again, we, we had to do some welding and some messing around with getting this thing set up. Your G might be a lot better position to just unbolt the two halves. And you saw how easy, you know, there wasn't hydraulic lines going through. In, in our case, um, you know, there's electric line, but that's pretty easy to, you know, fix up. But there's not a lot to be done, and so, but just double checking, doing the work ahead of time, asking us questions, showing us pictures, 
Uh, we'd love to work through different setups with you and uh, you know setup like this for 13s and 9s will be something we'll be having on the website soon so you can just hey this is what I'm getting for my G I'm going to click on that and it's going to have all the components that you need and you know it's going to fit so again any questions give us a call send us an email whatever and we're, we're here available for you thank you